What's good? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Boss Money Bates. And on this channel right here, I give you advice on health, wealth, and relationships. So that mean I show you how to get your money up, I show you how to get your body right, I show you how to deal with who you need to deal with. This video right here, it's not gonna be for a lot of y'all. So a couple of y'all, y'all gonna spin off. So for the suckers that's gonna spin off, I need you to spin off now because we don't need you here. I'm about to give you some expensive facts. Let's get it. So I keep seeing this video float around the net, man. I say, yo, let me speak on this, man. I'm going to keep it told with y'all. The way we going, we in for a rude awakening, man. It's a lot of people out here that their mindsets is fucked up. Like, seriously, man. Look, look at this video right here, man. If someone flies you out to Miami, is he obligated to get the cat? Um, depends on the name. Elaborate. Like, if you fly me out and you're a rich or something, and like you're a rapper or something like that, it's kind of expected, yeah, that nigga probably gonna hit. If you're a random ass flying me out, I'm finna dog you. Like, I'm yeah, not finna dog you. <laughs> Yo, so you see in the video, she's saying that if a dude fly out, he's not obligated to hit. But if dude is a rapper, you know, she'll let dude crack. Listen, you guys are making guys look bad, man. Cause you flying out anything. And y'all fucking the game up, honestly. Because you got females thinking that it's okay for a dude to fly them out. You guys got females thinking that it's okay to do these things that they doing to dudes without no repercussions. Now check this out, right? Females have been validated so long and so much to they don't even think they shit stink anymore. It's just, it's this or nothing. She could be not so pleasant on the eyes. She could be out of shape. She could be all of these things, but you got females right now today feeling like it's obligated for you to spend your bread. Like for conversation alone, like you, you can't even talk to me unless you spend money on me. And that's it. I, 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 where the fuck have we gone? Like, and then when you ask them, yo, baby, what you bring to the table? They like pussy. You know how many pussies I had on this table? Like, let's just be for real. I heard a female say that she don't even want to go on dinner dates no more. Like, let's not even go on dinner dates. Like, dinner dates is corny. You got females saying, like, the first date, like, you should spend five, six hundred dollars on a date just to be with them just for conversation. For conversation? I'll go and talk to a psychic for that shit. At least the psychic could tell me something about my future. But this is what happened. You guys messed this shit up. So now they feel like, yo, you can fly them out and they don't have to fuck you when you fly them out. And then, check this out. Look how they look. These are not tens we're talking about. These are not model figures we're talking about. These is regular, plain James. Listen to the other one. I'm obligated to hit. I feel like, like if it was a random ass and I had him fly me out, I would just ghost him after the flight, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So you basically telling me you guys are allowing this, you allowing this behavior. And then you got other dudes on the internet saying, yo, you got to treat them all like queens. Yo, listen, reality is this. All women ain't queens and all men ain't kings. You cannot treat all women like queens. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. I'm about to give you some expensive facts. So, the fact is this. Listen, if it ain't your girl, and you just caught into fuck, caught to fuck. Bottom line is this. What if men start saying, yo, listen, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? In order for me to spend money on you, you gotta wait 30 days or this, that, and the third. In order for me to take you on a date, we gotta have a couple of conversations for us to, you know, yo, listen, man. You gotta start reversing this shit on them, man. You gotta stop letting them feel like you need them, man. It's cheaper to pay for it. You could go to the stroll. You could go to the stroll. At least after you come off the stroll, you ain't gonna have no problems. You ain't gotta worry about no conversation. You ain't gotta worry about how she felt. Yo, listen, man. This is reality rap. 
Stop having them do you dirty. It's a lot of females out here that's doing y'all dirty and y'all allowing it. That's why they keep doing this shit. That's why they keep moving like this. Because you niggas is allowing this shit. Yo, listen. It starts with you. Like, you got to have confidence in you. If you don't have confidence in you, then guess what? They're going to run over you. They are going to run over you. Because you ain't confident enough in yourself to say, yo, listen, I, I can't let shit like this go down. I can't let this shit go down. It's going to keep going down. They're going to keep using you. They're going to keep moving on you. They're going to keep looking at you like you a lame. Because you a lame. If you pay for a flight and she ghosts you, you a lame. Like, if she had intentions on ghosting you, you a lame. Bitch, I'm not paying for no flight anyway. If I can't crack, I don't even want to talk to you, honestly. You understand what I'm saying? If I can't smoke it, I don't want to talk to you. What, what are we doing? Like, we playing childish games here. But this is, this is what I say again. I always say this. The reason women move how they move like that because they have more options than men. And I'm not saying that as a good thing. I'm saying it's a lot of y'all niggas out there that's too thirsty. Stop being thirsty. Stop being thirsty, man. Work on yourself. Get your money right. And guess what? If you get your money right, every female around you will chase you. They'll chase you, especially if they know you got it. You popping and they know you got it. They chasing you. You heard what they just said. And if he was a rapper, I'll let him crack. Cool, I ain't telling you to be a rapper. I'm telling you to work on yourself, man. Stop chasing these joints, man. Because they making you look bad, man. And you looking bad, man. You don't look good. You don't look good. Need I say more? I'm boss money base. And this is expensive. As expensive could get. And that ain't no bullshit. Knuckle.